To this day, nearly 2 billion people communicate through the internet worldwide, and the number gradually grows. 4.6 billion people use cell phones to communicate instantly from long distances worldwide, and 1.4 billion use normal telephones to communicate. People have claimed that such devices have improved their lives, but what they don't know is where it all originated. In the year 2000, I remember reading a report where they talked about how, what were the greatest inventions of the last millennium, and the telegraph was actually number two. Samuel Finley Breeze Morse was a professional artist, an unlikely person to invent the first means of long-distance electronic communication. However, one day, whilst painting Marquis de Lafayette, he received a letter that read one line. Your dear wife is convalescent. The letter, though hastily delivered, arrived far too late for Morris to comfort his dying wife. By the time Morris arrived in New Haven from Washington, his wife was already dead and buried. Soon afterwards, Morris resigned from being an artist and went off to design the means of long-distance communication. I view it as the grandfather of all modern communication. After learning about electromagnetism from a professor by the name of Charles T. Jackson, Moore set out to design and be the first to patent the electric telegraph, as well as Morse code. And he started, you know, deal, working a lot with, with, the, with the telegraph in the 1830s. Uh, by 1835, he had proven that he could send messages Electronically, uh, by 38, 1838, he already had demonstrations, but it wasn't until he was funded by, um, by the government that he actually was able to work on a large scale. In 1844, Moore sent the famous message, What hath God wrought? Over a wire from Washington to Baltimore, this was the spark that set Moore's code and the telegraph to the number one means of communication in not only the United States, but worldwide. This is the first time information was sent on a wire using electricity. And the telegraph is the simplest, you know, it's basically all it is is a switch. The way Morse code communicates is through dits and dots. The most well-known message is a distress signal, which is SOS, the abbreviation of save our souls or save our ship are translated in Morse code as very simple code you know like you know very similar to how computers work with the binary code the zeros and ones instead of zeros and ones they develop the communication of dots and dashes uh, I mean everything all the similarities to modern technology are there In times of war, telegraphs were sometimes the only means of communication with bases far from each other. During World War I, runners were sent to carry wires across battle zones from one base to another so that allies could communicate with each other. Though once a very popular form of communication, the use of telegraphs and Morse code is dying. The same technology used to make telegraphs was later applied to make telephones. From there, soon followed many other means of long-distance communication that totally wiped out Morse code from the picture. Few people today know how to communicate through Morse code or even know how to use a telegraph at all. Just a few years ago, the world's fastest texter, they had a competition, so they had a text competition, and they had some ham radio operators with the telegraph. So they gave them a, they gave them a little paragraph to send, you know, across the stage, and the, believe it or not, the, tel the telegraph people won. It's just a broken down, simple communication. You know, it's zeros and ones, Dots and dashes. Enthusiasts will always keep it alive. I know communications have, have gotten, you know, have improved quite a bit, 
But what if those break down? 